Merry Christmas to you all, and I hope you all have a day of fantastic festive fun. However, it does come with a bit of a warning because you know me, I am committed to this channel and helping you to understand law. So as much as you are sitting there having your glass of wine or a beer or whatever it might be, just a bit of a warning to you. If you get a family member or a friend say just pop over for gifts or a drink or something else, just beware that there are two types of drinking offences. One you'll be very familiar with, which is driving over the prescribed limit for alcohol. However, there is another one, which is DR50, which differs from DR40, these two offences. DR50 being where you're in charge of a vehicle whilst unfit through drink or drugs. This differs from the main offence that you'll be familiar with, which is being over the prescribed limit. However, being unfit does not necessarily mean that you have to be over the limit. For example, if you are of the body type or metabolism where you are very easily made tipsy just by one glass of wine, even though that might not put you over the legal limit to drive, you may nonetheless be rendered unfit to drive through drink. And if you are in charge of that vehicle, meaning you have the keys, you, there's a reasonable prospect of you driving that vehicle, if you are unfit to drive through drink, you may still be charged with an offence. And this is, of course, the time of the year when the police might be out doing random stop checks because they can stop any vehicle and if they have any suspicion that you have been drinking, for example, if they ask you and you say you've had one drink and you think that you're under the limit, they may still breathalyze you and they may still assess whether you are unfit to drive through drink. So even though you might pass the breath test and you might be under the limit, you might still be charged with being unfit to drive through drink. Because if they see that you've been driving around and swerving around in the lane or something of that nature, then you may still be charged with an offence. Moreover, you might also invalidate your insurance because if you have had a drink and your insurance states that if you've had any drink at all, then you void your insurance, then your insurance might be void as well, in which case you'll be charged potentially with an offence of driving without valid insurance because your insurance won't be valid if you break one of the terms of that insurance. So I wish you all a Merry Christmas, but please do watch out for this because lots of people do get caught out by this. And I realize I just look like a light bulb because the sun's in the background. But nonetheless, Merry Christmas and I'll see you next time.